Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be talking about Himalayan salt, the truth about its health benefits. Because of its ancient origins, many people believe that Himalayan salts are the cleanest, most purest salts and therefore are also the most beneficial for us. For millions of years, Himalayan salt from northern Pakistan remained untouched. These salt deposits are actually the result of a sea that dried up and it existed 250 to 105 million years ago and it dried up and evaporated. And eventually the salt deposits were discovered due to their striking pink color. Now the Himalayan salt gets its pink color from a distinct pink microorganism that lived in the sea where it originated. Therefore, Himalayan salt's pink color is actually a sign that it does have impurities. For many years, people have sought the truth about Himalayan salt, and here is what we know. Let's talk firstly about the nutritional value. In an article published in Time Health magazine asking if pink Himalayan salt had its benefits, it concludes that Himalayan salt is just a prettier, more expensive version of regular salt. But on the other hand, there is spectral analysis of Himalayan salt that shows that it actually contains 84 different trace elements, which include also calcium, copper, iron, and magnesium. Uh, although in low concentrations, but also other trace elements that our bodies do not exactly need. In fact, some of the listed elements include radium, plutonium, uranium, which are radioactive, and some other elements are classified even as poisons, such as mercury and lead, which as we know are not very beneficial for us. So this is the reason why I do not exactly recommend it for consumption. But Himalayan salt does, however, have therapeutic uses. Himalayan salt is used widely in halotherapy, which is otherwise known as salt room therapy. Halotherapy has been praised for years in its help with people suffering from asthma. According to research, though, halotherapy showed no improvement in any factors assessing lung function or airway inflammation. But this therapy is still worth mentioning because patients in the research trial showed improvement in quality of life parameters. Ultimately, while halotherapy itself did not treat their asthma, the patients were aged 5 to 13, these children did feel better after the treatment, showing that this type of therapy does have emotional and mental benefits probably due to the negative ions that are released through these uh, salts. Himalayan salt is also widely used as salt lamps, uh, which are also known to release these negative ions, enhancing both physical and mental well-being. So while Himalayan salts may not be as pure or as nutritionally beneficial as they are claimed to be, there are other uses that they are great for. In fact, many people swear that they breathe, sleep, and feel better thanks to this salt therapy and the Himalayan salt lamps as well. And a good soak in a warm bath with Himalayan salt where Himalayan salt is dissolved does leave people feeling much better and energized and more refreshed as well. So as a stress reliever, Himalayan salt is actually very, very good. But let's look at salt consumption and health in general. Many studies found associations between high salt intake and high blood pressure, stroke, cardiovascular events, and even cardiovascular deaths. But these studies couldn't determine precise causes, although they suggest that it was the salt. But as a measure of caution, I would suggest to aim for a salt intake of under 2.3 grams um, per day, which can help you avoid these associations. Now to the final question, is there really a healthier salt? Well, the best and cleanest salt of all impurities comes from the Dead Sea. It is called the Dead Sea because it is so salty, actually 34.2% saline. So no animals or plants can survive there. And it is actually the Earth's lowest elevation land that was actually considered one of the seven wonders of the world. The mineral composition of this salt differs significantly from ocean salt or any other salt that is found and actually is, has without the less healthy trace elements found in Himalayan salt. 
In fact, people visiting the Dead Sea for healing purposes, it helps in conditions, skin conditions, including acne and psoriasis. It helps with rheumatological conditions and osteoarthritis. It helps reduce inflammation and it also helps treat allergies and it helps actually delay skin aging. So it's really, really great. Now, as for a salt for consumption, Dead Sea Salt is definitely the one I would truly recommend over all of the others. And as you know, uh, this is my blog. I have no personal benefit from giving you any advice of, of my recommendations and I don't sell any of these products on my website. So this is for your pure uh, benefit. I hope you like this um, video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content on my channel, please subscribe. And if you want more information on health and nutrition related content, visit my website at www.gorilladiet.com. Thank you very much.